What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. Let's talk fantasy basketball for the slate of Christmas, December the 25th, 2020. All right, guys. So it's about a, it's a five game slate. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, point guard position. I'm gonna give you guys between uh, five to eight players at each position. Then I'm gonna pick my best player at each position. Not the best player, but the player I'm going to be playing the most at each position. And, of course, the reason behind that. All right. So, let's start with the point guard position. Uh, you have Luka at 11.3 against Lakers. Uh, Luka, of course, you know, is a big LeBron fan. He's going to try to show up. Uh, a couple of times they play, he went for, like, that triple-double or close to it. Uh, I expect Luka to have a better game than he had in his opening night. But at 11.3... That's a price I'm not sure I want to go there. Uh, but is Luca going to be on my top seven? Oh. I'm going to say no because uh, I'm not really looking forward to play Luca against the Lakers at that price when you have Kyrie and Steph Curry and a lot of other players in this uh, on that day that I really like. So I'm trying to ex Luca as much as I can. So for right now, I would say I would ex Luca. Uh, but definitely, uh, it's a guy that can go up for 70 plus. And but I also see other players that can do that even at a minimum price. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and X look at here. Uh, so let's talk about the seven guys. Uh, that's Kyrie at 8.9, Curry 8.7. Right, Kyrie. Uh, he wasn't really that good. Uh, to be honest, uh, he started great, but plus he was a blowout, so he didn't really have to do much. In the second half, but uh, now he's going back to Boston, so uh, it's not going to be an easy matchup because Boston is a great defensive team all around. But 8.9k, definitely one of my favorite play at the position for Christmas Day. Steph Curry, uh, if between him and the thing about it, I, this team could be getting blown out by Milwaukee too. To be honest, all right. Uh, the fact that Green is not playing, that's really, really hurt that team in both sides of the game. He can facilitate. He can also, you know, do the little thing, rebound and talk, you know, a very good talking on the court, let the players know where to be. For that reason, he hurt the team. So, if I'm definitely not supposed to uh, play for blowout. For that reason, I like Curry here. And even a little bit more than I like Kyrie. But definitely, Curry is on my top seven. And the next guy I'm going to put in there is uh, Dragic. All right. Dragic uh, came to at 6.4K again against New Orleans. He's going to have two battle balls here. So both him and balls, uh, I like both of them. But I like Dragic a little bit better. To me, I feel like uh, ball possibly can do a little bit more. Dragic probably going to be a little bit more in the scoring part of it. But... Uh, the discount, I might decide to go with the discount here. So, Dragic is one of my top seven. And then the next guy I'm going to go with here is Joe Holiday. Uh, not in any particular order, guys. So, Joe Holiday against Golden State. Man, ain't nobody would be able to stop Joe Holiday. The guy, I love Joe Holiday. Defense, offense, even rebound. Those are the type of player I like. So, give me some Joe Holiday at 7K. Uh, hi. Uh, we all saw what Jim O'Malley did to... Uh, <laughs> Denver in the playoff, but this is the regular season. He's going to be up for it. Uh, he didn't really have a good game in his first game back, but I think he's going to step it up here. So, uh, put, give me some Drew, uh, Jamal Murray in one of the top seven guys I'm looking to play. And then the next guy is, uh, I'm going to go with some cheap guys here. The next three guys I'm going to give you guys. And that starts with Zig at 7.8k. Great start for the season. He is going against Brooklyn here. Uh, Brooklyn, yes, they are definitely a great team, but they are not a defensive stopper. So I definitely like uh, uh, Jeff Tig here. So give me some D Jeff Tig. I'd rather play him over Lou Williams. And the next cheap guy I want to talk about is, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh. I want to talk about one I'll make it. Yes, guys. One I'll make it. Three point, I believe 3.7K. Let's go to one I'll make it here. 3.7K against Milwaukee. 
Uh, I like the fact that he played 21 minutes. Yes, he was bad, but I think if Fonami can get 21 minutes again, he definitely gonna have a better game. Gonna be a low pick, not popular play, possibly uh, under three uh, percent. But I don't mind going to wanna make it here. All right. And then the last guy I'm gonna give you guys. Let's go back. Uh, will be Lonzo Ball because 6.6k against Miami, uh, 29 fantasy points. I think it can be a little bit better, but if it's, it would be between Lonzo Ball, uh, if you're looking for a cheap play, you can go with Pat Bev here at 4.2k. Good price, right? The Williams, uh, I, I thought he would be better in the last game, but at that price too, that's not a bad price at 5.2k for a guy we know that's capable of doing his thing. All right, so out of all those guys who I would have started my team with, Curry would be that guy for me. Uh, Curry at 8.7K. Uh, I know uh, the man has pride. The way they lost that first game, I think he's going to come back, do everything he can, try to at least make this game a very competitive game compared to the first one. So give me Curry as the point guard, the first point guard I'm looking to play in this slate. The, let's go to the shooting guard position. You have Jimmy Butler, uh, had a good first game. Paul George also did good it's as far as scoring wise. Uh, Chris Middleton went off. So, uh, who am I gonna put in there? I'm gonna go with, uh, uh, let's start with Schroeder here. Uh, Schroeder, uh, all the way down at 5k, uh, had a 39.4 fantasy points here. I like the price, so definitely looking forward to play him. Uh, it's good to see him. He's in the starting lineup for right now. Uh, hopefully, uh, they don't see the first game as the uh, as a reason to put him coming off the bench. But I think Schroeder is a good uh, way to start uh, to bear with. And the next guy would be DV at 5K, 30.5 fantasy points against Golden State. He is in the starting lineup. I think that's definitely gonna help him. Uh, he has a duality that's definitely on set and on selfish player. So DV has 4.5k. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap play, and uh, another cheap play I'm gonna give you guys is KCP. All right. KCP is what 3.7k. Uh, let's go. Where's KCP? Uh, actually, 3.7k. Uh, had 19 point. Not bad. Not bad. It's a five game slate. Uh, it was a blowout, so possibly could have go over 20 fantasy points here against uh, in his last game. So definitely 2.7k if you're looking for uh, a player on their three um, 4k. Uh, the other guys I want to go over is uh, let's start with Bledsoe here. Uh, Bledsoe against uh, Denver. Uh, they have a they definitely don't forget what happened in the playoff. So I can see him come here uh, and. Definitely show a what you see in the playoff. That's who, that's not who I am. So I'm looking forward to play Bledsoe here and uh, Jim Butler against New Orleans. Lost the first game. I know he's gonna be motivated. The only thing usually motivated doesn't mean for him to score and stuff like that. It could be more to try to um, help his team. Uh, I know uh, get involved and uh, stuff like that. So that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm I would rather go with Paul George here. But I wouldn't mind take a chance on uh, on uh, on Jimmy Butler. And then of course you have Midi, uh, love Midi here uh, at 7.4k against Golden State. That's definitely gonna be a high-scoring game. This guy, man, people don't give him enough credit. This guy is really good. Uh, 53 or basically 54 fantasy points in his first game. I don't think he's gonna get there, but definitely I can see him get 40 plus fantasy points here. Uh, we all see the first day, I mean the second day of the NBA slate, you need 400 plus fantasy points to, to actually win big money. So uh, I don't think we're going to need 400 this time. Eh? But it's possible though, because uh, there's a lot of stars in this game. All right, so uh, Bledsoe, uh, Bledsoe against Miami, the price is great. As we can see yesterday, man, a lot of... Uh, uh, as we can see in the second day, day slate, a lot of cheap guys over 5K went off. Bledsoe actually did decent uh, at 5.6K, like the price. So how am I going back to Bledsoe here? Uh, out of everybody, I gave you guys who I would put in my lineup. Uh, when I'm looking at all those guys, I definitely like uh, 
show there here all right so show there will be one of the guy sc so i'm gonna give you guys show there here uh the price definitely gonna make him a popular play so i'm gonna give you guys show there. i don't wanna go all heavy expensive player all right so let's go with the small forward position LeBron James with an ankle problem. I think he would be good to go, but I'm definitely not looking forward to play LeBron James, just like I was in, in the first in his first game. All right. So now, who am I looking to play? Definitely Levert. All right. The price is still crazy. 5.8k, even coming off the bench, uh, especially against Boston, coming off the bench probably the better thing for him uh, compared to uh, if he was come as a starter. So definitely give me some leverage here. I don't care if he was a starter coming off the bench or a starter. I like this guy. I think this guy could be a star in the NBA and even coming a superstar. So uh, I, me, if that was me, I would want to be a starter. But hey, if he's happy coming off the bench, then he's happy. Uh, the next guy, Michael Porter. I was on him the other day and I'm on him again. So give me some Michael Porter, 5.4K. Uh, we seen that like what seven games, six, seven games in uh, in the playoff against uh, uh, and he wasn't the starters against uh, the Clippers. Now he's the starter. Nobody can stop Michael Porter to be honest. Not even Kawhi. Nobody can stop him. He's a great rebounder. He just needs to be better in, as a defensive player. But I think Michael Porter gonna land, gonna get better. So give me some Michael Porter here. The next player will be. Engram. Oh, Engram went up. I didn't see that coming. So now I'm looking like, okay. Wait, Engram, would I go Engram or Jalen Brown? I love Jalen Brown. I think I would probably go Jalen Brown over Engram. But what Engram did in the first game, we cannot ignore that. I didn't see that coming against a defensive team. So he going against another defensive team, but he was going against Toronto. Toronto, as far as defensive wise, is a great defensive team. So if he does it against Toronto, I can see him do it against my team, the Miami Heat. So I do like Ingram. And the same goes for Jalen Brown here against Brooklyn. I expect Jalen Brown to be one of the best young players this year uh, in both sides of the court I, uh, against Brooklyn. I can see him uh, get his end in the passing league, get some steal. Even possibly some black, this guy will go for the black. And the only thing is, he's gonna have to deal with, uh, we all know who. Uh, but I think it's more gonna be somebody else going against Katie than Jalen Brown. All right, the next player will be Kawhi Leonard, 9.5k. So, yes, I would rather play Kawhi Leonard here than play LeBron James. The price. And the price is the reason. A LeBron James is 9.5K. I will play LeBron James over him. Both of them didn't really go off in the first game. Uh, but Kawhi Leonard was definitely a better play because it was cheaper. But Kawhi Leonard, uh, that possibly could be his worst game as far as fantasy-wise for the season. So give me some Kawhi here. And let's go down to some cheap plays. Uh, let's see. i give you Brown. Uh, the next guy will be Hugh. All right. Uh, I didn't like Hero. Probably better for him to come off the bench. I didn't like Hero last game, but I definitely like him better in this game. 5K. Give me some Hero against New Orleans. I believe Miami is going to come and win this game. So give me some Hero here. Uh, and then the next game, I mean, the next player will be DFS. That's Dorian Finney Smith for the Dallas Mavericks. All right. Dini Smith, 4.2K. Uh, he's gonna play some minutes with some guys out. It's a guys that they like because he's the guy that do a little bit of everything. Uh, every team need a player like that. So give me some finish me. He doesn't have to score 20 points to get you 30, 35 fantasy points. So I like those kind of players at the cheap price too. And the next cheap guys will be yes, Nicholas Bottom. If he is going to start. Then I want to play him 3.5k, 24.2 fantasy points. Could possibly get to the high 20s if the game was in the blowout. So give me some bottom here. I'm glad to see him back. He's starting, probably not for long, but he is the kind of guy that can do a little bit of everything. I don't know how this guy got 
faded out of the NBA so quick after getting that big contract from Charlotte. But I'm glad to see him back and then definitely on a team that can use them better. That's probably suit his uh, uh, style better. All right, so give me some bottom here, 2.5K. And the last guy I'm going to go with is... Okay, that's basically it. That's basically it. So who am I going to go with as my favorite player here? I'm going to go with Porter here, all right? So I'm going to go with Porter here, uh, 5.4K. This guy, man, he's this call him Shane. I expect him one day to win MVP of this league. Uh, but most likely going to have to do it in a different team. So for power forward, they move Giannis to power forward. Maybe just for this slate, but we'll see. Giannis, 11.6K. I like Giannis here, but I'm looking at, okay, Giannis or Davis. I mean, like, you see, when you get that discount, and you also got uh, Tatum, which is going to take a, taking a big step this year. Then you got doing at 8.5K. So definitely, I like all those four guys. Actually, out of that list, I'll probably X out Tatum. But let me talk about my seven players. So let's start with Kevin KD, all right? Against Boston, he's going to need to play the full game. It's not going to be a blowout. No way. And Boston could win this game, too. It's possible Boston can win. Boston got a good team, uh, defensive player all around the Code. So give me some uh, KD here at 8.5K. This guy can do a little bit of everything. I see his rebound. I mean, it's the best, probably the best score in the NBA. So 8.5K to me is a no-brainer. Anthony Davis, 7.6K. He's going to come to that game. He will never forget that game. Uh, I know it was a ceremony night. So, of course, the excitement, you know, no excuse anything like that. But I think he's going to be ready for the Christmas day. Especially if LeBron and Kogan and Bada him, he's gonna have to do a little bit of everything. And the next player will be Tatum. Yeah, I have to go with Tatum here because uh, when you're looking at the power forward, uh, Tatum against Brooklyn uh, had a close to 50 fantasy points in his first game. I think he's gonna try, to, you know, that's probably one of the guys he used to look up to when he was the. Yangi, so definitely give me some Tatum here against B Brooklyn. And then Zion Williamson, uh, not really the game I was hoping for in his first game. Uh, again, could be a difficult matchup here, but I don't mind going to J uh, Zion here. And then uh, the two cheap, three other cheap guys I want to talk about is Millsap, Pascal, and Chris. All right, so Millsap, definitely, even in the precision, he's been doing good. And his first game wasn't too bad, 4.9K, 27.89. So uh, I'm glad to see. I, didn't, I honestly thought Millsap would be out of Denver, but I see he's there. And not only is there, he's starting. And they moved Paulette to the small forward. I thought he was going to be Paulette at the power forward and Millsap out of the team. Uh, go somewhere else. So give me some Millsap here. I don't mind going there. But most likely, I'm going to try to go uh, with the high guy in the power forward position and go cheap in the other positions, all right? So, uh, Pascal, yes. I wasn't on Pascal uh, last, uh, the first day, but that didn't really help me anyway because I didn't do it that good. So, Pascal had a bad first day, but I definitely think he's going to be better in the next game, so... My last we might not go to him this time, but I can see Pascal bounce back here with a better game. Again, I'm mostly looking to play the expensive guys at the power forward positions. Uh, the next guy is Chris. All right? Chris has a decent game, and I can see him uh, even with a better game, and he's cheaper here. Uh, against Milwaukee, 4.4K. Chris is definitely a guy that... Uh, when uh, I think Phoenix Suns drafted him, they had high hope for him. But, you know, Phoenix Suns definitely messed up a lot of people's careers. So, but I can see Chris definitely with a good year this year and uh, could end up being in a starter one day. Uh, and But out of all those guys who I'm going to go with, I think it's a no-brainer that it will be KD here. All right, Durant is the guy I'm going to go with in the power forward position. 
All right, let's go with the last, which is the sentence. Jokic. Uh, Jokic was less than focused in the first game. I was very surprised. I was on him. He so he was on my best team, but I had some. I only scored 344 with him uh, because some, there were some guys that didn't really do too good, even though my point guard went off. Anyway, so Jokic against, they couldn't stop him. I don't see any in the playoff. Definitely not going to stop him in the preseason, but they do have a better defensive, uh, a better defensive player in the center position and also a bigger guy. Uh, I mean, stronger guy in uh, Ibaka, but Jokic still is Jokic, and nobody can stop him. So give me some Jokic here. Uh, and then Bama against New Orleans. Bam can do a little bit of everything, okay? 8.5K. Give me some Bam here. Uh, and then Ibaka at 5.5K. Uh, Love the price here. Uh, Adams also at 5.5K. I like Adams a little bit better, but definitely Ibaka. I wouldn't mind Ibaka here. His first game was also a blowout and also was going against Lakers. So was, that wasn't an easy matchup for him. That will be easier because uh, Jokic doesn't play defense. So uh, I like both guys. But if I had to pick between the two, I would go with Adams. Because I can simply play a little bit more minutes than Ibaka. And then the next player will be Montrezo. All right? Montrezo had a good, good first game. Uh... But I would rather go with the Ibaka or even though he, I would rather go with the Ibaka or Adams here. All right? And I also would rather go cheaper if I had to. But Montrezo definitely make it on my top, top uh, seven guys. Uh, the guy hustle hard. He's going to play and definitely wanted to show up against his old team. And the next two players will be Jordan. Jordan wasn't the best center for that team, fantasy wise, last game. That because it was a blowout, he wasn't on the court much. But I expect him to definitely to be better in this game because he's going to play more minutes. So give me some Jordan at 4.5k. And the last guy is Wiseman. All right. Wiseman. I, uh, Wiseman was great in his first game. He played a little bit more minutes than I thought he would play in the blowout. He played some garbage minutes and scored some garbage fantasy points. That definitely helped. Uh, the people, including me, that play him. But I can't see him going to be, based on the first game, you can see this guy definitely have the skill needed to be a top center in the NBA. So give me some wise men at that price. Definitely it's a guy I wouldn't mind playing. Uh, of course, I don't give you the players. I don't rank them. But if I'm going to go here with, so you're going to have to look and see what you want to do. Where you want to go, you're going to have to look at the position uh, to see where you want to punt players. I think a good, to me, a good place to punt is at the uh, small forward position, definitely. Uh, so when you look at a uh, small forward point guard, I don't really want to punt there, all right? When you got shooting guard, okay. Maybe you, you can do it here because you got the Eric Bledsoe and those other chip there that I gave you guys like DV, uh, shoulder and stuff like that. Small forward, yes, you have LeBron James, you have Kawhi and Brown, Brown and Ingram, but you can at least put one guys there because you have Porter there and Labor. So you can do go cheap there. At the power forward position, I think that's where you need to go expensive here. And the center position, you can go both ways. So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and go with, uh, as much as I want to go with Wiseman or Jandre Jordan, oh, I'm going to have to go. Now I want Wiseman for real. I want Jordan. But this look good. If I do this here, what I'm going to do at the power forward position? Can I go this way? Not really because I only have four left. So that's not really good. So I'm going to go. I like Joe Cage. Uh, but I'm going to go with uh, Chip here and go with Jordan here. Not even Wiseman. I'm going to go with John Jordan here. So those are the five guys I'm going to give you guys. All right. Uh, that's Curry, Schroeder, Michael Porter, KD, and DeAndre Jordan. I appreciate you guys.
please subscribe turn on your bell notification there's a chance guys i want to give you guys a video every day but because of my location which is not in the u.s right now it's possibly gonna be hard to do so but i will definitely uh uh not because i cannot do the video but because man it's crazy the upload time it's insane sometimes it's days unless you are went to one of those hotel that have those great finish but at the house i am where we have wi-fi but for some reason even though i'll make them upgraded it's still not good enough for uploading all right i'm out i appreciate you guys good luck merry christmas to you and your family and uh yes please subscribe turn on your bell notification and drop a like on this video for me I'm out.